Okay, we're talking about SmartFox Server and how to use SmartFox Server to run an avatar chat. I'll show you really quickly the avatar chat here. But not only having this avatar chat, but instead of just logging in yourself and creating a user, but actually connecting to an existing database, a MySQL database on your server, so that you could bring in your users and their passwords and all that that are already registered on your website. So um, I was able to get that to work here on a test site and I did it with this pro database extension .fla file. It's a um, it's pro db extension .fla. It's one of the example files that comes um, in the SmartFox installation. So if you go to your SmartFox folder, and here's my SmartFox folder, and you go in Examples, AS2. I found it in, where is it? Pro DB extension, right here, number 12. And um, I'll just show you how that works. So now I have this opened up and I can hit control enter and it says that I'm connected to the SmartFox Java socket server I can um, type in my name right and then I've got it formatted to load stuff from my database so if I hit load from database you can see that on my database there is one user named administrator username admin and then email nim at nim.com and what's neat about that is if I go to my WAMP server 2.0 and open up PHP my admin, you'll see that in this database right here, template underscore test, if I click on that database in PHP my admin, and this is a Joomla database here, uh, MySQL database uh, used for a Joomla website. If I go to JOS, underscore users you'll see that there is an administrator username admin and then there's the email nim at nim dot com so um, so there there you have it uh, admin username uh, administrator username admin email nim at nim dot com so just like I said it, it was able to draw in the fields from uh, from my MySQL database and right through Flash using the um, SmartFox server. So that was pretty exciting. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, to do that, I explained in the last um, video tutorial that you need to download the uh, Connector J um, JDBC driver for MySQL from the MySQL website and I downloaded a certain version. Then you need to put it in certain places which I showed in the last video and now I'm looking at the config file for the SmartFox server and this is how you change your config. So you scroll down in the config file and I pass by the initial config and get to the zones. So here are the zones and you'll see that the second zone is called DB zone or database zone and you go past the first part and then there's the database manager you need to change the active state to true from false to true and then I um, commented out the JDBC ODBC driver and uncommented the uh, driver for MySQL which is org.gjt.mm.mysql.driver and then I set it to point to localhost at port 3306 for MySQL and then I put in the name of my database which in this case I looked in PHP my admin was named template underscore test username is root for password there's nothing in between the password tag and the end password tag because there's no password right now for root and then under the test SQL I changed um, this line 
to my JOS users, this I think said contacts here, and I changed it to JOS underscore users, which is the name of the users in my template test database. And that's all I changed there, right? And then you can run your server. And when you run your server, you want to look as it's loading. You can see as you start to load the different zones what's happening. So right off the bat, I can scroll down and watch what's happening. And I can see that the database manager has been activated, the database zone, and I've got some success there. And if there's a problem in your config, your SmartFox server will not start up. And in this case, it did start up. So that's pretty cool. So I was pretty happy about that. Don't close this window or you close your SmartFox server. So I just minimize it. And then the last thing I needed to do was in this file, pro underscore db extension dot fla, I needed to look at my timeline. And in particular, I looked at the um, chat area of the um, code, the flash code. And I see that in here I made some changes. Some of the changes that I made here on this keyframe in Flash, the chat action script on that, is I changed things to match the type of information I was interested in. So column Nick is for name, but I changed column location to column username and the name here, username. That's going to set up the columns that you see when, when we successfully were able to load the data. And I changed it here, column username, so I commented out what I didn't want, location, location, and location, and put in my settings that were going to work for my database. Okay, and I went down here and looked to see if I needed to change anything else, and I didn't. And then last but not least, I see here on this file that at a certain point it's calling an extension named dbtest. DB test. So it's opening an extension. So what I did at that point was is I went to my server and I looked at my server and I went to the server folder and I went to SmartFox server extensions and I looked for um, db extension.as this one right here and I opened that up and I made some changes in here in particular let's see here on this line right here line 70 I changed var sql select star from contacts to JOS users and I wanted them to order it by username instead of name. Okay, and I figured that it's actually going to query my database, not an anonymous database, an example database. So I thought I should change that. And I looked in here for any other changes and I changed this item name, uh, username, and email. I changed that to get username. And you can see here I commented out the original one, which was item name, item location, and item dot email to item dot name, username, and email. So not location, but username, because I know that those are the fields in my database that I was going to query. And that's it. So I had to change um, that extension. So a bunch of configuration changes. I did spend quite a bit of time at um, Smart, SmartFox server website looking at their forum, getting help on discussions and help on how to connect to the database. So at the SmartFox site under support, they have a forum where you can get a lot of helpful information and I looked for all the postings related to databases and I found tons of information um, that were helpful. This one is a SmartFox server discussion section on database connection and I found other people who had similar problems who were able to get it to work. So hopefully this was helpful 
and in the end you'll end up with a file where you can connect to a database, connect to your MySQL database. So you log in and click load and boom, the, my MySQL database loads right in.